out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, we got some real breaking news coming in, and the WBC has off has ordered, excuse me, mandatory challenger at lightweight Luke Campbell to fight W Super WBA title holder and uh, WBO title holder at lightweight Vasily Lomachenko. Appreciate everybody for checking in one time for the one time we grind and blessings to the brothers and sisters out there supporting the channel. Don't forget. To hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. And the WBC ordered a mandatory challenger in Luke Campbell to fight another champion. I'm telling you, bruh. I'm telling y'all, man. Um, by, I'm telling y'all, the WBC is hogwash. It's by far the most corrupt belt out there. It's the worst belt out there. Okay. They got Ali on the, on the belt. And they try to be like they so prestigious and buy the book. Bruh. If they order another champion to fight other champion, why the fuck they ain't order, you know, uh, Sean Porter to fight Earl Spence last time? So we get that shit already. Why they never order Thurman to fight fucking Earl Spence? And then if he didn't fight him, strip him and let uh, Earl Spence fight the next mandatory challenger up. Okay? You have so many instances where the WBC could have done something. They let Donna Stevenson go almost a fucking decade without fighting a mandatory challenger, bro. Now all of a sudden, they could order a champion they can order a mandatory to fight another champion. Now, we did have something different. They ordered Gary Russell to fight Santa Cruz. But guess what? Santa Cruz was with another sanction belt body. He didn't hold the WBC. Gary Russell did. So, he didn't necessarily have to fight him. He didn't. And ain't it looking real stupid for Devin Haney right now other than the money? It was said that Devin Haney signed over to with Eddie Hearn, Matchroom USA in the zone, to get a WBC title shot versus Luke Campbell. And now that won't happen. That was, that was dubbed... For July 27, that just shows you how much pull Eddie Hearn really have outside of Anthony Joshua with some of these sanction belt bodies. I'm telling you, bruh. I'm telling you, they just got the complexion for the selection, bruh. I'm letting you know, man. This is another prime example why you you got to you got to listen. You got to pay attention. You know, a lot, a lot of times, see before you listen, man. I'm telling you guys, I don't argue on streams with idiots. Oh, the WBC, the most prestigious. Look at right here. How can they order... A mandatory to fight another two title holder guy. How? How can they do that? How can they order Luke Campbell to fight Lomachenko, who hosts WBC and the WBA? I mean, the WB, Super WBA and the WBO. And now they order him to fight Luke Campbell. So now what do Devin Haney do? Devin Haney, Devin Haney signed a deal. Devin Haney signed a deal with Matchroom contingent on him getting that title shot. And they're not going to put Devin Haney in there with, Lo with Lomachenko. Luke Campbell going to lose to Lomachenko. So there go Devin Haney title shot right now, unless they can get Richard Comey to fight Devin Haney for the title. You know what I'm saying? Tiffany Lopez got a, a, a fight versus another top 10 contender. So can Devin Haney get Richard Comey? It's the question. They wouldn't do that. But they know if Devin Haney get that title, they're not going to put Devin Haney in there with Lomachenko. And Bob Irham just sent the bag over there. They wouldn't have did this. They wouldn't have did this for no black fighter, bro. Real talk. They wouldn't have done this for no no Wilder. They wouldn't have done this for no fucking uh none, none of them dudes. You know they wouldn't do it for Earl. You know they wouldn't have done it for Bud. They they wouldn't do it for nobody else. And that's fucked up, man. That Devin Haney had signed the contract with the the zone, listening to Eddie Hearn. He shouldn't have signed unless he knew that Eddie Hearn could have got that belt. You know, bad debit, bad deal on his hand. Now he won't be a champion at 135. They not going to put him in there with Devin Haney. I don't think neither side want to do that. You know, they not even they reluctant to put him in there with Tiafima Lopez top rank. Now all of a sudden, the WBC voted that, uh, oh yeah, Lomachenko, you know, I'm going to order two to the title holder Lomachenko to fight for the WBC. That's that's just so much bullshit, man. That's why I disown this take the dishonor from the WBC, man. They not honorable at all, man. Yeah, like I said before, keep that same energy when we need other fights to get made. You know what I'm saying? Keep that same energy, Doug. You gonna order you gonna order a mandatory to fight another two title holder, and you ain't even fucking ordered Charlo his title eliminator yet. And Triple G about to fight Canelo again. Before Jamar Charlo get his shot. You ain't even addressed Jamal Charlo. Y'all voting on giving Lomachenko three belts versus Luke Campbell. 
Come, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, man. Boxing, boxing is, is is just politics, and it's terrible. And the politics is rolled to the fighters, and the politics rolled from the fighters to the media. Then politics to roll from the media to the fans. And this is why you get a lot of idiots on here, you know, talking business all the time because the business of boxing is is overtaking the technical aspects, the X's and O's, and the jabs, and the counter work, and the, and the counters, and the footwork. You know, because the business of boxing. It's so it's so it's so fucking retarded. It's is you you get enamored with it. It's so dumbed down, it's so watered down, you get enamored with it. Like, damn, can they really do this shit? Is it really legal? Yes, it's legal because there's no uh there's no international uh, uh commission. There's no they have no they can do whatever they want because they're not sanctioned in the and they not you know, excuse me, they not um they not their home base is not in the United States. Only one is the IBF, so they they can do whatever they want to do. Had all these these been all these belts being in the United States, they couldn't get away with this shit. All of a sudden, now they want to offer, they want to order, they order a, a champion to fight a mandatory for a vacant belt. I I, I can't remember the last time I seen it. I'm pretty sure it probably happened, but it's a joke. It's a joke. That mean they they want Lomachenko. Somebody paid them. Somebody paid those voters to vote, man. Somebody put money bags in, in, in Marisa Suleiman Jr. pocket. He's by far, he's by far tore down anything, any dignity, any legacy the WBC has had. He's a joke. He he's a he's a real joke. He ain't never went out. He ain't never went out for no black American fighter. Stevenson was from Canada. He ain't never done nothing to protect a black champion for, for five years like he done Stevenson or to run a belt over to Lomachenko. He ain't never done that before. Never. Only with Floyd Mayweather, that's it. You know? And like I said before, you 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 talking about Canelo, man. Lomachenko, after this move, he was the second businessman in box. He they do the most for Lomachenko, bruh. They do the most through the media. They do the most trying to forget that he didn't beat uh Orlando that he lost to Orlando Slito. They act like it don't exist. They did the most for this dude, man. And Bob Aram, if he was had that same ambition for Terrence Crawford. If he had that same ambition for Terrence Crawford, fam, you know Crawford would be fighting Earl Spence. Real talk, it'd be it'd be inevitable the fight would happen. But he don't have that same ambition. He gave he gave the WBC money, in my opinion, allegedly to make this happen. This was no no organic or natural process. He gave them money to make this happen, bro. In my opinion, allegedly, and, and that's just how dirty boxing is, bro. That's how dirty it is, dog. And Devin Haney. He on a lot of outside looking in. He got millions, but Matchroom USA is not about to invest seven figures per fight on him and then put after how Lomachenko is going to do Luke Campbell and then put Devin Haney in there with Lomachenko this early. It's not going to happen. And top rank ain't going ain't gonna to be willing to put Devin Haney in there with Lomachenko. So now this got to go to a purse bid. He's going to be on ESPN, The Zone. I'm not sure, but it's a joke. This is a real, real joke. This dude... Is the, the the first one I can remember to a uh, two uh, unified champion to become the man order the mandatory for the WBC belt with Luke Campbell, bro. This dude has got the he has the worst resume to three titles, man. I don't care, no, I have seen nobody worse. Uh, Pedraza got beat up by Young Tank. Lenar has been parked several times in his career, and now Luke Campbell. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, me so horny, Luke Campbell. You know, two live crew, Luke Campbell. You know, he got beat up by the guy that got knocked out seven times with Jorge Linares, bro. And they're going to try to act like this undisputed rank so cold, and then he beat Richard Comey. Big deal. Robbie Jr. beat him. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. Like I said before, that's why a lot of people lose interest in, in boxing. That's why a lot of people lose interest in the sport, man, because of BS like that. And at the end of the day, you can't tell me that Lomachenko and Canelo ain't the two most privileged fighters out there. Is it is a surprise that... WC looked out for Canelo. He Mexican, no surprise. WC looked out for Lomachenko. A little bit surprised, but you know what? They got their favorites, bro. They ain't looking out for black fighters, and black fighters would be wise to support the IBF. And I said it before, American fighters, the majority of them is black American fighters. You got some Hispanic American fighters in there, too. This, they will be smart to get together with Warren Buffett, Magic Johnson, Puffy, and some other people, put their money together, create their own sanction to build bodies, Start with the IBF, endorse them, and get two other sanction belt bodies and just had the three North American championships because it don't matter. Nowhere else matters. To become a boxing star 
and really make money and, and, and make a legacy, it got to happen in, in America. But hey, it's good fellow sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget, check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze, the Hellblaze.com, promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. Check out my website, promo code in the description. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, the crowd response to your video request. Let me know what you think in the comment section. One time for the one time. We gone.